gets time from all of to test step away from all of this insanity to some real education. The oddities of the Vatican is our topic this week. The Vatican, take a look at uh, the Vatican there. It's a, what a sprawling place. It's also a known uh, officially as Vatican City State. It's a landlocked and independent city state located within Rome, Italy. The Vatican became independent in 1929, its own distinct nation, and it is a territory under full ownership, exclusive dominion, and sovereign authority and jurisdiction of the Holy See of Rome. It itself is a sovereign entity of international law, which maintains the city's state's temporal, diplomatic, and spiritual independence, with an area of only 121 acres. That stuns me, uh, that how, how compact that is. An area of 121 acres and only of about 825 individuals living there. It is the smallest state in the world by both area and population. Population. The highest state functionaries are all Catholic clergy of various national origins. The Holy See dates back to the earliest times in Christianity and is the principal Episcopal See of the Catholic Church, which has approximately 1.4 billion baptized Catholic Christians in the world as of that, that uh, number of, as of 2018. And in the Latin Orthodox Church is another 23 Eastern churches. With, within the Vatican, within Vatican City are religious and cultural sites such as St. Peter's Basilica, the Sistine Chapel, and the Vatican Museums. I want to look at some of the odder things. Take a look at this. The Mandalayan of uh, Edessa. This can be found there in the Vatican, Vatican collections. Legend has it that the Mandalayan, M-A-N-D-Y-L-I-O-N, the Mandalayan uh, of Edessa is a towel on which Jesus purportedly dried his face. There are several conflicting legends in regard to the towel. As one story goes, the relic was crafted after leper and church Turkish king Akbar of Edessa sent his messenger Ananias to Christ with a letter requesting a cure. If Ananias was a, unable to bring Christ back to heal the king, the king requested a portrait instead. One in the Lord's presence, once in the Lord's presence, Ananias tried to draw him, but instead was summoned to give the king a towel on which he wiped his face. The towel was left with an important imprint of Christ's face, and when Ananias returned and gave the towel to the king, he was miraculously healed, we are told today. The Mandalayan of Edessa, which bears similarities to the Shroud of Turin, is kept in the Matilda Chapel in the Vatican Palace. So if you're ever there visiting the, the Vatican, check out some of these odder aspects of its collection.